Hello everyone! So today I have the new Diamond Press Today special that will be featured on March 7th on HSN. Super, super excited to show this to you guys. You may have seen already sneak peeks with uh, Diamond Press themselves uh, in their email blasts or maybe you watched one of the lives with uh, Beth. And so you kind of have an idea what's going on here is their mixed media Today special and they're is a lot in this box so we are going to open this up in just a moment um along with this i have some other items that i suppose are like add-on items you Excuse know me. so it's um different add-ons for like the different uh pastes or uh, tacky glue and things like that, that are like that that are in here okay so um i'll show you all those today uh these items were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own any links on the description box will be affiliate links which means i'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links so thanks for using those guys if you can um Clearly the Today Special is not quite available yet. This is just a sneak preview of what's in here. Um, I do have a link for it though, so it does show like sold out. Um, and I don't know how long each will keep that link alive. They might just, you know, take it back and then uh, release it again. So um, you can see a quick video there that Diamond Press has put together for their Today Special also. Just like a little preview um, of some of the things you can do with it. So let's open this up and just want to show you what this looks like. So yeah, again, in this video I'm showing you um, the items. I'll show you some some of the add-ons and then I'll follow up with tutorials okay guys because there is quite a bit in here so we want to get to it and then we'll uh, have a play next time around but just to open it up uh, right on top a nice thick uh, booklet here ultimate card making mixed media collection instruction and idea book and as you can see it says ultimate card making so they geared this towards uh, stencils and screens and things that are sized for card making um, so, as you can see, I mean, I can walk through everything it has, but we'll just, well, let's go. Ten screen print stencils, three paint brushes, three screen print ink colors. These are the screen print type items there. Sixteen word stencils, uh, twenty-seven word stamps, and that's here. Uh, three ink pads. Uh, an ink handle with three foam pads, uh, the heads, right, for your ink pads there. One chalk kit, which is so cute, you guys. I can't wait to open that up. Uh, six background stencils, uh, eight acrylic paint tubes, right over here. Uh, Three-dimensional paint, which is like your little kind of puff paint. I think that's going to be really sweet to add, like, little... Um, like instead of using pearls or rhinestones, you can use these little guys, like little drops all over your uh, project there. One stencil tape roll down here, one texture paste, one tacky paste, and two foil rolls. So the tacky paste you generally use with that. I'm sorry if that's out of frame there. Uh, a scraper tool. Having said that, it does have a scraper tool for like your screens and different things or your like, your stencils, but you can also use the brushes, so it makes it a little easier for your screen printing if it's, you know, more controlled that way, however you like to use them. So it does have uh, the tool, but it also has um, stencil brushes, uh, mixed media spatulas, eight foam wedges, one fine liner pen, and one storage folder, and label, it says. So... Uh, tips and tricks, you know, for the screen printing, for uh, using those. All your info here, I mean, it shows you there you can wash all your projects or your products so that you can reuse them, which is really great. How to use the texture paste. I think this is going to be really fun. Oh, oh my gosh. When I had seen this, I thought, oh, I'm totally going to color the texture paste. Because what you can do is use the acrylic paint to tint your texture paste so it's not just white, which is always lovely. I love just throwing something like that on a project. Um, but if you want to color it, you can definitely do that. And they're showing here you can use the different spatulas uh, to get that on your project. And again, wash those too. <laughs> um, glitter paste. Again, some ideas on how to use those through your through your stencils. Also, washing those off. Um, whenever I use stencils, I always pretty much wash them pretty quickly. Just um, you know, hybrid inks, different things. They will stick to your stencils after a while, so just get them washed um, as soon as you're done, right, uh, with that part of your project, and uh, you go from there. This is what's interesting: the tacky paste and foil. Um, you're going to use it however you like with some words, with some of uh, the uh, stencil uh, backgrounds. I mean, just adding it with a brush is always fun. And then just having the foil stick to that so it has like a cool um, organic kind of look. But what they're saying is you have to give it a little time to wait because you want it to become tacky. You don't want it to be wet when you put your foil on. It needs to be a little sticky you put your foil on. And what's interesting about this one here is that you're going to run it through your marquee or whatever... Um, system you might have for like die cutting something that's just going to like squish it and really press it in and then you just take the top uh, layer off that you know foil piece that you put on and then your foiling will be on the tacky uh, layer right so really cool 
And again, wash that up too, uh, as far as your stencils. And then dimensional paint, they're just showing, you know, maybe you want to use it to write over something you'd already stenciled, you know, use it as a, as a guide. And, uh, you know, just adding uh, texture here and there. Acrylic paint, of course, watering it down. Maybe you're using it just like that. Maybe you're putting it through uh, your stencil. All the different things you can do with acrylic paint. The chalk. And this caught my eye here because I think it's just so cute and I was wondering how they're showing. What I'm going to really enjoy with these is like whenever you do like maybe some Maybe some stenciling, but like some heat embossing, you want to color flowers, something like that. This gives such a soft, pretty look after you're done heat embossing. Just kind of come in with the little um, uh, pastel kind of chalk, and it just looks so pretty and soft. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. They're showing you here how to use it with your stenciling. And uh, you can set the, the uh, chalk with a fixative spray. So they're saying like um, if you have a fixative spray or just aerosol hairspray to seal that. Um, it says it will smear with not if it's not affixed with that kind of spray. Stamping, of course, stamping. <laughs> uh, some info on that. And stencils with ink, and pad, and dauber. So again, stenciling, you know how we do with the ink pads. And some inspo. So lots of images here that you can check out. What they're showing you there. Love that. So cute. Oh, look at this little guy. So cute. And then again, you know, screen printing on um, clothing items and, you know, totes and all that kinds of stuff. So what I'm going to do is, you see everything's packaged in here so nicely. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me bring them all out and I'll put this to the side. I'll be right back. So let's start with smaller package going larger. This one is a heavy boy. I have a feeling that's where our um, pace and things are. And so let's open this up. There's also a tote bag that you can pick up that you can place all these things in afterwards. So I'll show you that also along with the glass mat and all kinds of fun things. So we'll get to that in just a minute. So here are our acrylic paint. I love those little tubes, super classic. They're like that metal kind of tube, really cute. Purple, teal, blue, looks like a green, lime green, yellow, orange, a pink, and red. Those are your acrylic paints. Oh, let's open this guy up. And here are our inks with our uh, handle and then with uh, the foam dauber heads that I always just kind of store together. Um, a lot of times if I put them in a box, this fits under here, so I just put them together that way. Uh, we have orange and pink and a pretty blue. There are refills available of those generally on mydiamondpress.com. I don't know if they're in stock right now, but I believe they are. Oh, yes, 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 so cute. Okay, let's open this guy up. <laughs> this is the um, chalk pastels. How cute are those? Oh, my goodness. I just want to show you because uh, when you open this up, it does have a little cover there. You have your handle, and it has this little clippy. And each um, chalk color has three different sizes of uh, applicator. So like those little puffs and you just pick it up like that. So you use it and you maybe have something small you want to color in so you use the smaller one. And you can just pop it back in there. And maybe you're using the larger one or whatever for each color and just get your little color on there. Oh my gosh, how cute. Okay. <laughs> so again, uh, this is more what I would consider your primary colors, right? Your basic colors. Um, there's a teal though and a purple and you know like a limey green. Really, really cute, really pretty. Love, I love how everything just coordinates. So cute. Okay, let's put this guy to the side. Okay, this is our heavy boy. Let's open this one up. Yes, okay. So in here we have uh, the little um, dimensional paint. How soft and cute is this pink? I love it. And the orange is very sherbet kind of orange. And look at this little light blue. Gorgeous colors. I love what they've chosen uh, as far as that goes. So cute. So again, puff paints. And I can show you just real quick. Uh, let me see if I have something. I just <laughs> pop it on here. Um, it, just give it a squeeze. It starts going. And you can just, you know, have a little squeeze there. You can actually use it. It is paint. So, you know, apply paint to your project by creating dots, words, shapes, etc. Drying time will depend on thickness of paint and washes off easily with soap and water. So there you go. But cute. I'm going to put that to the side. That was more of a bigger drop on that one. Okay. 
Uh, okay, so let's check these guys out. The Tacky Paste. This is a really nice size uh, jar, 100 milliliters, if that means anything to you. But you can... Excuse me, but hopefully you can tell by uh, it in my hands about how large this jar is. And again, you apply the Tacky Paste with a spatula or brush through your, the area you desire. Gently remove stencil and set aside to partially dry. Let's pretend you put this through a stencil, right? Uh, apply foil, gilding flakes, glitter, sand, other medium to glued areas allow to fully dry for a permanent adhesive. Very cool. And then there's a texture paste um, in white. And again, texture paste. I don't know if this is open yet. Yeah, well, I can show you. It's just really thick stuff. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, but again, you can color it. Uh, really, really tint it, you know, with... Um, even these colors, but with the acrylic paints, most likely, and it's really cool stuff. It's just very um, versatile. Again, I like using it just white, also just through a stencil. Um, and then we have some glitter paste. We have a gold and a silver. And again, there are some add-ons I'll show you in just a minute that are other metallic ones. I think other glitter ones also. Um, and then we have screen print ink, screen print ink in green and pink. How cute! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I would say oh my goodness, oh my gosh, and I say oh my gosh. Teal, I love it. Sorry, so um, actually, let me open one up so we can see the thickness of these guys. If it's open. Oh wow, it's like a whip. Do you see that? I have a little extra on the outside of there, but like, I don't know, it just the way I turned it, I mean, you can see it's very stiff. Very cool. Okay, so let me put that up. We will definitely get to playing with these very soon. Like I said, today we're just seeing what all is in here. Put these guys back. Heavy box. <laughs> and then in this one, we have, ooh, yes, so our tools, our extras. So again, um, eight foam uh, like wedges. We have daubers, very classic for stenciling daubers, right? Uh, we have spatulas of different uh, shapes and sizes for your stenciling needs. <laughs> and then again, the brushes. Oh, wow, that is huge. Okay, <laughs> the spatula, this one, I didn't, the scraper, I didn't realize it was so big. So these are like a one inch, probably half inch, and like just a round brush. Again, for the anything, obviously, that you're going to do, but uh, they intend those for the screen printing to make it easy. We have foil, the gold and silver. Again, with that tacky paste, you can do lots of fun stuff with that. The um, washi type of tape, you know, just to hold things down in your stencils and stuff like that. It's really nice to have. And here we have... Oh, oh, oh. All these goodies here. So we have our stencil, the word stencils. Again, tacky paste, put the foil, you know, you're good to go and you have like your foiled word hugs or however it is that you want to do or whatever it is you want to do. So we have cheers, grateful, thinking of you, hello, all different kinds of fonts, sorry. Sorry, you know what, I was gonna say sorry, you probably can't see them too well, but there's that one. Here for you. I like the mix of the fonts on that. Thanks. Very traditional. Just because. Um, miss you. Love. Smile. I love that. I like the size of that one. Happy birthday. We have congrats. Awesome. Friend and hugs. And these really remind me of the um, Ultimate Card Making Collection. They had some fonts that were very similar um, in dyes, I believe. So that's nice to have that. Um, yeah, this scraper is a big boy. I was like, oh yeah, a little scraper, you know, instead of using like the brushes if you want to use that. This guy will put a lot of product down for you. So again, just if you want to use it for your glimmer paste, for your any of these things, basically. Um, let's check this out. In just a bit. Let me put that to the side. So these are some acrylic stamps. Lots of sentiments. Sweet friend. A friendly. You know, so you mix and match these stamps with, like, the words I just went through. A lot to you. For your loss. To, um, to forever. You did it. You are. And then, you know, whatever it is that you have over here with the wording. You to pieces. Like, love you to pieces. During this time. Thinking of you. It's going to be okay. From afar. I miss you. You know, hugs and kisses. So stamp that. Finish that off. Stencils. This is just, wow. Okay, so 
Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way since the words are on this side. Ditsy Dot. Oh, I love the Ditsy Dot. It is like kind of a mind messing with my eyeballs here because it's large and small, large and small, and it's just all over. So cute. Again, oversized stencils. Generally, the area you can stencil with these guys, they are almost six inches by just over nine inches, but the area you have stenciling is like five and a half, I suppose, by like eight and a half, eight and three quarters. Um, the Flourish. Oh, I love this. Very pretty. Can you imagine some flowers or floral type of uh, imagery on top of this? So we have Flourish. Floral Swirl. Really, really cute. Just fun flowers all over there. We have the Trellis. Again, great for flowers and just all kinds of backgrounds. Christmas. I mean, really nice. Daisies. Oh, look at this one. So stylized. I love the little flower and like the little leaves under each one. How cute. And then leaves. Very organic and fun on this one. And then it comes with um, a folder. And then, you know, this kind of thing, what I normally do in this one is I would put all my stencils in here. I would put my stamps in here and I would put my screens in here. So I would just kind of have them like that. And then on top of here, I would put, you know, Mixed Media Today Special or whatever is the ultimate card making uh, mixed media. And this here. So these are the screens. Let's check these guys out. And what I mean screens, with screen printing, you guys know, you have these screens, you stick them down, and you just kind of put your ink or whatever it is that you're trying to use on top of that and then just squeeze through. So this is different than a stencil because it is a very fine mesh kind of netting, right? So the blue area is what won't have ink on your card, right? That's what, it's kind of masking that area. So where it's clear, that's what's gonna be on your card or your project. So as you can see this butterfly, it's like this outline and these pretty areas in the little body uh, will be on your project. And I believe these are sticky or do you just hold them down? Let's see what, well, I'll have to read the instructions for it later. Um, but they either have a sticky back or you stick them down with your um, tape, right? And then you just wash them off and they're reusable. So really pretty. I love the blue color they used. So we have a butterfly. We have a side facing butterfly. We have um, a rose. I'm so glad we're friends. Really nice size on that. A little kind of flourish. Basically they're showing you here what, what all is here. So we have this beautiful flourish. So cute. A butterfly is kind of in flight in the other direction there. Not quite side facing, but not quite forward facing. Beautiful dragonfly. Again, that clear area is where the ink will go through. Um, I was thinking you can even use pastels. Like anything that will pass through that, you know, fine mesh will work just fine. And then this bigger one with the bee flowers. Friends are like flowers. They bring color to your world. And look at this guy. Really nice border or background for a card. So pretty. And then these are just kind of showing you what that looks like. And I would pop these also back in here. Maybe I'll put them back in the plastic casing. So that is the Today Special. Oh, and a liner pen. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, and like I said, for right now, I, I'm going to link it if it's still, you know, the link is still active, um, but it's not available for purchase. It's just kind of showing you a little bit of it, some examples of cards and projects, and then like a video from Die and Press there. So our liner pen in a, um, this is drawing pen, in 1.0 size. So it's a nice pen. Uh, what I'm going to do is package this back up and I'll show you some of the add-ons. Okay, one really uh, nice add-on here is the storage caddy and maybe you saw this in the email blast. I believe they have it in two colors. I have the teal and I believe there's a gray. So let's open this up. Oh my goodness. And that's what it looked like. And the email blast looked like it was um, made from felt, like a felt material. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me open this up. I'll be right back. Let's just pull this out of here. It looks like it has, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is the bag itself. This is a big boy. I <laughs> imagine that, I'm sorry, I can barely get it on the screen here. Uh, let me measure it. It looks like it's probably, yeah, 12 inch square. Um, I would say it's 12 inches square all in here. You have this little pocket. Look how thick this felt is. Oh my gosh. And then you have this portion. And I'm so sorry that my camera can't go up any higher. But um, we have this piece that has like all these kind of little carton looking 
shape here with the six different areas and it has Velcro so you just put one to the other one. Of course it's if you want to use it, if you just want a big space then you have that big space but otherwise you have these guys the hook in here. There are pockets on this side right? Built in pocket on this side. Double pocket there. On the outside, oh my gosh you guys. <laughs> Sorry it's so hard to show you but there's a big pocket that's gusseted. It goes across the whole thing. I am so sorry. Can't get that quite in there. On this side it has um, three pockets. Again, very large. On the other side, again, very much the same. That large pocket with the uh, Velcro closure and gusseted. And it says Dime Press Cubby Caddy. How cute is that? And then on the other side, again, more pockets. So, basically, you can take everything that's awesome and wonderful in your today special or whatever is you want to carry in here and you can pop them in here now I don't know if this fits in here maybe in here maybe just on the side oh you know where I'm gonna put this actually out in this outside pocket so I know you can't see it but I'm gonna pop this open oh my goodness okay let me show you something where the back pocket has that gusset the front one I thought also was gusseted see how that has a gusset so that's basically where I'm gonna put this guy <laughs> okay but on this other side, when I opened it right now, thinking I was going to place that in there, it has areas for pens. So you can put your pens in there and then it just keeps them out here. Or your brushes or all that stuff, right? So, we can just pack it in. <laughs> you know, I have my acrylic the paints. Maybe I'll put them in this pocket here. So those, are, those guys are there. Again, I left them together, so that's why they're just kind of fitting in there together. Maybe we have these little guys. We're going to pop them in there. Maybe in here I have my pastes you know right now obviously I'm not really planning anything out I'm just showing you guys but I would put a little more thought into how I'm gonna put this away later we have our texture paste our tacky glue and then maybe my glimmer pastes you know together here and I do have some more from the add-ons that I can fill in there um, you know we have our um, tools maybe I put these in this outer pockets or maybe I put them together in here all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's so much room, and I haven't even gotten to the bulk of the Today Special to put in here, so um, definitely a lot of room in this caddy. Really sturdy with that really extra thick. Actually, I'll probably pop this out in the outer pocket, too, so there's plenty of space for that, but right now I'll just pop it here. And, I mean, super sturdy. Really, really thick, thick, thick felt. Really cute. Um, okay, so let me show you the... Um, glass mat. I'll be right back. Right, so I do actually have two glass mats to share with you. I know the large one is on HSN right now. I don't know if the small one is going to be there or not yet, but um, there is a 6x9. So let's look at the Diamond Press 6x9 glass mat. Oh, how adorable. That is so cute. I love that it has magnets. That means it's magnetic, which is very interesting. And the other one is 17 by 23 inches, you guys. So the mat you're looking at right now that I have on my surface is basically that. I think that's a very big as far as it goes for a glass mat. I don't know that I've seen too many that are that size. So it's really nice and sizable. Um, like I said, I prefer glass mats because you can cut on them, you can ink on them, you can do all your paste on them and just wipe it right off. And um, the only thing is when I make videos, it's shiny, so I just uh, don't use them too often here on my videos. But I will say it's my preference. So uh, let's check these guys out. So it has these little things to protect it. I assume you can leave those on there if you wanted. It kind of helps grip. If that's uh, something you know you're looking at but generally it's for the packaging so let's just remove those but again if it was me and if you see this I'm gonna leave them on there <laughs> so it does have little uh, grippies anyway for you put that down just like that I love the black background it's really sharp and clean looking and I think that is super awesome that it's magnetized that that Again, you got your stencil. Um, you know, I put all my stencils in my little um, tote bag there. But I'll show you whenever we're working on our projects. Put your stencil, put your paper, and then you can just use your magnets to help you hold it down for a little bit while you're working. Or again, your washi tape, the uh, dime press tape there. Super cute, six by nine. Um, let me see. Let me see. Three. Yeah. I was going to say the whole surface is six by nine. And then the measurements on here go to eight inches and to basically five inches, right? One, two, three, four, and then five here. But the surface of it is six by nine. 
Now, the 17 by 23 mat is a big boy, and the package is really big, which is just really um, great because they're keeping it nice and safe here. I do want to show you as much as I can. I mean, this guy is huge. Just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. <laughs> there it is. So I'm going to bring it out of here, and I'm going to place it uh, on my surface as well as I can. And I'll be right back. Hey guys, this is beautiful. I love the black, crisp, and clean. Like I said, I was going to try to put it on here, but I do have a lot of things in front of me. Um, I can fit it in here as much as I can, though. Let me move some of these things here. Look at how pretty this is. Again, this is my glare for my video purposes. Um, really awesome obviously it's glass it's beautiful on this white section here if you're mixing like paste you can see a true color instead of mixing on the black surface where maybe you aren't gonna be able to see like um the color as well but i think you will um but either way you have this white area here for all your mixed media purposes to just check things out and see what colors you're getting or maybe just put you know some uh something as easy as just using like a water-based marker and you know rubbing some on there and then using like a water brush to pick up your color you'll see exactly what your colors are looking like as you're kind of dipping into it so it's, a, it's like your palette area right so um, this is gorgeous I do want to check something since the other mat I'm sure you guys will have that same question um, the other mat is magnetic where I don't believe this one is but it does have the little feet underneath at the bottom and all that kind of fun stuff this is gorgeous and then down at the bottom it says make something great oh this is so pretty I love the feel of that um, again it's glass it has some weight to it so it's really really nice and sturdy just awesome excuse me I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna grab some of the add-on um, extras like the paste and things like that I'll be right back mentioned on the larger um, glass mat the measurements go up to 15 by 21 because there's an extra inch all around so 15 and then 16 17 right and then 21 sorry this way 15 the other way 21 and then 22 23 with the extra inch all around so they are legit 17 by 23 inches um okay so we have a refill of the um tacky paste so again the 100 mils i am assuming and three of them because i think <laughs> Once you start playing with the stuff, you are definitely going to have a very good time with it. Um, this stuff, I, I'm telling you, like I said on the thing, you, you can put sand, glitter, um, just literally anything you want to stick, right, to your projects. Um, again, the foiling, really, really great. Um, What's this stuff called? That little gold, gold flake kind of things. Um, I just have some info here for the glitter paste, but basically use it much in the same way. You're just going to let it dry. And I'm going to put that to the side. So three of those. I think that's going to be my best friend. I love that kind of thing. Um, let's go to the next type of paste. Let's say this glitter paste in cool, warm colors. Six colors, 50 millilit milliliters of each. And that is that one. And then there's also neutrals and metallics. Okay. So. Again, obviously you can pick these up without having picked up the today's special. If you just like this kind of thing, I think this is really great. So we have the red glitter. And the glitter looks like a fine glitter. You know, chunkier than ultra fine, but not as chunky as like your regular glitter that you use every day, like kids glitter. Um, this one's lavender. And teal, so pretty, and this so pretty together. Again, you can, you know, put a little something in one, put a little some of the other in your project. Um, copper, I love that. Really orangey copper there. Uh, a yellow, which is very yellow. It's gold, but more yellow tone gold, right? And then there's some info there for glitter paste on how to use them. And then a uh, green, which is a very bold primary green. I guess, why do I say primary? Prim green is not a primary color, is it? <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> and then this one is the uh, metallics in neutrals. Again, 50 mLs of each. And these are neutrals, so we have gold. And your classic gold. And we have black. And let me show you if I can the difference with the yellow and the gold. Like I said, this one's more orangey. 
Do you see what I'm saying? It does have a different, a subtle difference. So I just want to point that out because even though it says yellow, you're thinking gold. They are different. Um, and then black, which is going to be really cool. Oh, I love iridescent. This one's so pretty. This kind of thing, you can pop over something that already has color and you're going to see the color underneath it, you know? Um, so iridescent's really, really sweet and cute. A real fun one. Uh, silver. So we have more gold and silver like we had in the initial today special. And then we have bronze, which is a very browny kind of bronze. And rose gold. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so great. Love rose gold. So that's a really fun color to have in there. So that's those guys. Again, those are glitter pastes. Pop them through a stencil, just use them by themselves, get a brush and dot like in the middle of flowers, you know, all those kinds of things. Um, this one is the screen print ink. This is cool and warm, and then they also have a neutrals metallic. So the way they have neutrals metallic and cool and warm in the glitters, they have it in the screen print inks. I'm already so getting tongue-tied with my superlatives. I was going to say cute and gorgeous, and I think I said cute or something, I don't know, but pink, so pretty, I love it. I love that soft, like, very tutu pink, you know? Um, the lavender, a little more pop of color on that one, a little brighter lavender. And then we have uh, orange, again, that sherbet orange, so pretty. I just love the softness of this orange, the creaminess, like a creamsicle, you know? Uh, blue, which is a very soft blue. Look at this, red. Got your fire engine, kind of candy apple red, I would say. And here we have a yellow, and it's just a soft, sweet yellow. I really like the formulation of this stuff, just looking at it, so we will try it out in the next video. I like the way it's kind of like whipped, really nice. And then this is the neutrals and metallic colors. You guys, they even have alcohol ink um, kits. They have gone all in on the mixed media with different types of things, so I'll show you that kit soon. Uh, I'm kind of just showing things I relate to exactly what is it kind of in the shade special, but expanded, right? So black, gotta have it. Um, ooh, gray, look at that. Very kind of elephant, slate gray, really pretty. Um, silver, so this one's a metallic, we can see the metallic sheen on that one, really, really pretty. And then white, so cool, oh, I'm gonna love that. It's so hard to stamp in white ink, and so I think that's gonna really um, be a fun one to have. Uh, gold, again, metallic gold, you see that, really pretty. And then we have rose gold, a metallic rose gold. That is so awesome. Wow. And it just keeps going, guys. There's add-ons for the pastel chalks, too. So let me show you those right now. Um, we have pearl in eight colors. So I'm assuming those are pearlescent. And then we have uh, metallic in eight colors. So let's open up this metallic. I already moved into the tote, it looks so cute. <laughs> Everything all in there together and plenty of room for lots more. So it is a really nice big tote. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's check that out. Again, comes with some info. Um, the other ones all have info too, but they were underneath the pots. And I just kind of left it there, you probably saw it in the video. And again, they're talking about how you might want to use them and then to use a fixative to hold them down um, so they don't smear later. So. Uh, if you recall the other colors, very similar colorways, but these are, um, oh my goodness, you guys. So <laughs> this is very similar colorway, but these are metallic. So I don't know if you can see, there's like a silver kind of metallic nature to them, um, like glitter, very fine glitter. And again, the three different sizes and your little applicator, really, really cute. And then this one is the uh, pearl set. So let's check these guys out. Ooh, let me open this up. Again, some info with those. I'll put this to the side here. And um, these are, again, pearlescent, a uh, different colorway than uh, initial, right? Like where this one's very similar to the Today's Special colorway. This one has more like jewel tone colors, so more muted, but also more rich, right? Um, in the different colorways. And then they also have like that little shimmery pearlescence in them. You can kind of see it. it. might be hard to see on camera. But we will definitely play with these very soon, so you'll see all that. 
And then here we have, uh, oh, that's something else. <laughs> uh, it's a die set, which we will get to, but just not in this video. Oh, okay, diamond press foil rolls with tacky paste. And I think this is the last one I have to show you guys. Um, again, there's an alcohol ink uh, kit, and then there's some other items that you can pick up for that, and I will show you that separately. But right now, these are the items that are very much kind of what's in the today special and just extra things. Look at this. <gasps> wow, this is a set. Okay, so we have the uh, instructions and then we have foil rolls. So we have gold, like a aura kind of gold, um, copper and like maybe a rose gold. This one's a little bit softer, like where the copper has more orangey kind of, this one's more pinky brown. Uh, that awesome like AB prismatic um, silver, uh, really sweet pink and like a softer blue. Those are really cool. Your classics, we have gold, very shiny gold. That's different from this one. Again, this one has like that prismatic look. This is your gold, black, which is really cool, and silver, very deep silver. And then we're rainbow, which we love, and green, and a really pretty blue. And the four rolls, and in this kit, it also comes with uh, a tacky paste. I'm telling you, <laughs> this is it. It's so good. So. Excuse me. So thanks so much uh, for watching, guys, for checking out the different items. Again, uh, Beth went through and did a uh, sneak peek. So if you haven't checked that out, go to uh, Diane Press's YouTube page. You can check that out. And then uh, I think tonight, <laughs> depends on when I release this video, they are going to be having a sneak peek of like the other items that Diane Press has brought to um, HSN. Um, some of them are already available, and some will be available closer to the second or I'm sorry, to the seventh, March seventh. Um, a lot of fun stuff guys so keep your eyes open I'll have a lot of videos for y'all and again uh, check out Beth's live um, to see some of the other items and I will be following up very shortly with videos playing with all these different items and just you know having uh, fun getting a little messy and actually when I was I was thinking about it I'm like, oh, getting a little messy and it really isn't. If you want to use the brushes, it's just a lot easier and um, more exact and you're just kind of handling things in a different way than when you just kind of, I don't know, uh, do the screen printing in a different uh, manner. So definitely check out those videos as they come out. And thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Diamond Press, for sending all these items for review. I will have the items that are now available linked in the description box and I'll see you guys oh at the goodness, next one. Oh my goodness, you guys, sorry for the rough edit. One other thing I want to mention is that the uh, Today Special will also have an auto ship portion to it. So if you want to sign up for the auto ship, um, you would just order it that way. And they always show you sneak peeks, you know, when they're doing the uh, presentation. It's also in the email blast, like what auto ships are coming up next and what's in them. It's more foil, it's, you know, um, uh, screens, more of the different uh, products that are in here, you know, just really cool for all the different occasions that come out throughout the year. Um, there's also another screen print or film um, and dyes kit that I did not show in this video, but I will do a video just on that uh, with some of the uh, refill items and things like that. So there are more um, screens and what's cool about that set is that it has dyes. So even if it's wording, you know, you might screen print, then you have a die that you can cut it out, which is really great. So you can pop it up and do fun things like that with um, your wordings, your sentiments and things like that. So really cool set. So I'll have that for you very soon. But again, I just want to mention that I totally forgot to mention that there's an auto ship um, and with auto ship if you you know sign up for it and you see the previews and you're like oh I like this but you know maybe I don't do too much of Halloween or whatever you can set up to skip ahead of time you just go into your auto ship manager it'll be there after a day or two sometimes immediately um, the whole thing will be the whole program for like let's say the um, card making mixed media um, collection and you can just say skip skip or keep or just cancel it you know after a while if you know it's something you just want to cancel the whole thing you can cancel it you can unskip but once you cancel you can't get back in so just I always just skip and then if I change my mind I'll unskip it um, and allow whatever it is to to arrive if um, if I change my mind right so just want to give you guys that info there's a lot going on um, hopefully you're looking forward to all of it and I will see you guys very shortly <laughs> all right bye now